Is it worth ordering one of those new purple bursts? Welcome back, Troglodytes, to your daily dose of guitar information, the Troglodytes Guitar Show. That is the question that we will answer today, because in late October, Gibson.com came out with a new exclusive finish that is this dark purple burst. And I've always been kind of scared to order one of these because A, it's a Gibson.com exclusive, meaning they do not discount these things at all. And B, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit top wise. But <laughs> I would say I either lucked out or most of these are actually pretty good because that is looking pretty sweet. So these were actually available in both 50s and 60s neck versions. So it's just a regular Les Paul standard. When this new one dropped, it was much more new and fascinating in my opinion. Opinion. It's actually a perimeter burst, so not the full-on teardrop shape, so you can't necessarily call it like the Les Paul Goddess, but it's kind of like some other custom shop, small purple runs that have been out there. And this was a highly underserved market, so I think Gibson knew what they were doing, keeping these things for themselves. They build them as AA tops, and they charge you $2,999. So, no, this one is not part of the new Gibson Custom Color series that we documented in this episode. That's something that all dealers will get in stock. This is a true Gibson exclusive. The other finishes you can find on their website are Deep Purple, Olive Drab, and Ebony. And there's varying models within each of those. For example, Deep Purple has the 50s and 60s Les Paul, the 335, the Les Paul Classic, as well as the Les Paul Special. The Olive Drab has the 50s and 60s standard. The Ebony has a unique modern Supreme that has the three pickups that we documented in this episode. And then they also have the 50s, 60s standard, the 61 SG. They also threw the 70s V and Explorer in there, which is pretty cool, and a custom 345. And that's if you go to Gibson's website, go under the electric section, come down to exclusive colors and if you click on it they will only show you what is readily available to order some of these other listings disappear but if you google search gibson dark purple burst you can find the old listings and then you can see that they've just made it non-active so how long gibson is going to produce these i i just don't know i can't tell you and i'm sure once they're discontinued the used value might go up on this particular one but besides just the guitar you also get the case and then don't forget about all your case candy which you can see here on the screen but at the end of the day this is basically a re-review of the les paul standard 50s and a cool new finish because nothing else has changed but we do have what looks like a black back but we'll have to verify that over on the workbench so let's head on over there now <laughs> Inside our purple Paul, let's check out the specs. So we've got the cream pickup rings, chrome covers, and it's just our typical burst bucker one in the neck, and the complementary number two in the bridge. Those pickups read 8.11k ohms in the bridge position, 7.63 in the neck, and just for fun, 3.93 in the middle. Interestingly enough, you've got really nice unstained pickup cavities, and I really like this vibe. The natural color mixed with the dark purple burst. The black is nice, but I would love to see like a dark back or a very heavily tinted vintage natural version come out in the future too. Because if you check out all the custom color series, they did something like that, so you could kind of understand what a lighter one would look like. That's why I specify like a darker version of that. But it says PU in the neck pickup, likely for purple. Then LPS5 for Les Paul standard 50s neck because at the time of ordering that was the only thing available but we've got these cool golden knobs that kind of match with our natural center there there is a small crack in this knob that's probably due to shipping but in these cavities you can also see the remainder of the maple top joining onto our non-weight relieved mahogany body got your regular ABR1 style bridge. However, it's important to keep in mind the difference between a custom shop ABR1 and a Gibson USA is they still mount it like a Nashville style bridge here. But that ABR1 is very heavy, whereas they use the lightweight aluminum for the tailpiece by advanced plating. And if you wanted to rock one of these pickguard off style, I honestly think it looks pretty good. It looks like something straight out of like the 2018 era of Gibson, or perhaps more apropos to say like the 2014 to 2018 ish era. It just looks pretty nice. I say that because the cream plastics, they all match for the most part. Sometimes they can look a little pinkish. These work well with the finish. You've got the ambered over switch tip matching with your knobs. I suppose if you want to get really technical, your pit guard is a slightly lighter shade, but I really didn't notice that until I was really getting up in its face. The world is gloss over the top it's the single banded binding along the body and you get a nice they call it a double a flame top i haven't seen too many of these in the flesh outside of like maybe one or two forum posts but all the ones i've seen have had pretty decent tops so so far i have confidence to order blindly on these 
Moving on from our two-piece maple top and mahogany body, we've got that mahogany neck with the rosewood fretboard. It darkened up with some conditioning. I think it would have been cool to have seen like real mother of pearl inlay, even though it's not a traditional spec, although you can make the argument neither is a purple bursted Les Paul. But that's not how the 50 standards are specced out, it's just a regular acrylic. Not even original bursts have real mother of pearl, that's just a Les Paul custom thing. As far as QC goes, honestly this fretboard's really good. Like do we have some minor tooling marks if it can really get up in its face? Yeah, but I, I think they really are starting to crack down on that. But then again, it, it just varies example to example, but this one's looking pretty nice to my eye. We've got the 22 medium jumbo style frets with a 24 3 quarter inch scale paired with a 12 inch fretboard radius measuring about 1.71 inches at the nut increasing to 2.09 by the 12th. First fret neck depth of 0.88 and about 0.98 by the 11th. Here's that neck at the first fret and the 12th fret. It's just a nice rounded C-shape. Do not confuse Gibson USA 50s neck for Custom Shop 57, 58 baseball bat neck. They are not the same category. This is full without being fatiguing to most people. In our headstock, the regular Gibson Mother of Pearl for the logo, Les Paul model silkscreen, Lucent style tuners on the 50s, however the 60s would be different. And another nice spot that we can see the natural mahogany wood. Pretty much the only place you can see the neck. And then you've got your truss rod looking good. And the cover reading standard. Moving on to the back side, let's take a look at our electronics. It's just our regular Gibson branded pots with the orange drop capacitors. All wired up nicely. Although I thought the complementary chrome and black colors looked good. And I am able to confirm this is completely black. It's not an ultra dark purple. Put a light up to it and everything. So again, that means polishing swirls, scratches, fingerprints shows up very easily. But you've got your cream output jack plate with your slightly larger style strap buttons. In the usual locations, here's a run up alongside the back of the neck that has the matching black finish with our Gibson Deluxe Clusen style tuners made in USA. And this one was made 2023, 229th day of the year, initial batch. And it was neck number 55 stamped that day because there is a 000, zero digit. All said and done, not too bad of a weight, nine pounds, two ounces. Let's go ahead, plug it in and hear how the purple burst sounds. <laughs> tones out of this one very full and round
Now that we know all about the Dark Purple Burst 50s Les Paul Standard, what are my final thoughts? I actually had a great time playing this one. It inspired me to play a little bit differently, but I actually have to give credit over to Tyler Larson over at Music Is Win. I was watching one of his videos and he did that whole... And that just kind of helped me view the fretboard in a different way and kind of inspired me to play different. So a little bit of double musical inspiration today. So, I mean, if you've always been wanting one of these 50s or 60s Les Paul standards and you've been on the fence, and this one just happens to call your name, I would say it is worth it ordering one of these things blind. And even if you don't get the craziest flame top, it all just comes down to the color anyways. It's just a beautiful hue that you don't normally find on a traditional Les Paul standard. So I hope you enjoy your newfound guitar knowledge. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in being the next owner of this one, you can find it for sale on my website, and we will catch you guys tomorrow on the next episode. Take care. If you enjoyed tonight's episode, consider subscribing. I post videos like this every day. And you might even enjoy this next one.